What's up friends, this is Manny and welcome to Speed World Record Kills in Armored Core 6 with a setup that's literally too easy in the game. 12,400 damage per melee attack, can you believe it? The Nightfall Raven, for example, is a pretty difficult boss fight because the guy uses three repair kits. Now, how fast do you think we can kill him here on this brand new Armored Core 6 channel of ours right here? Uh, the battle begins now that we start to shoot each other. Boom, stagger with the Zimmerman shotgun and boom! One hit kill. That's when the battle begins till now, maybe five seconds. And the battle is already over. Now, how fast do you think we can defeat, for example, the Sea Spider boss or other enemies in the game that you remember as being difficult when you fought them for the first time? Well, let's find out together and set a couple of new records, such as this Speed S rank right here. Now, as I said, this channel here is brand new, but I'm evidently not doing YouTube for the first time. I wanted to start a new channel and deliver this video quality here daily to you. So if you enjoy this type of content, you want to see these special trolling builds or PvP action lore, then stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and follow me on this journey. By the way, the share code and exact fitting for this setup comes in a few minutes. Now, you see we're in the Sea Spider battle, and here comes the first fully charged pile bunker hit, dealing 204 initial damage plus 12,613 real damage against the stag staggered sea spider and uh, that is really crazy uh, almost 13,000 but you'll also see over the course of this video not every enemy takes the same exact amount of damage against the pile bunker they have different resistances against different types of damage in this case here melee so the sea spider takes by far the highest amount of damage I've seen from all enemies so far but there is this moment where he's invincible right now I can do whatever the want, uh, heck I want unless he gets up in the air and starts flying he will no longer take any damage now he's basically being open to taking damage again and uh, that is what we're gonna do and get the sea spider done and of course a super quick easy s rank here uh, in just a matter of a few seconds now also uh, worth mentioning is that with this setup here like I said share code is following in a minute um, you can really just uh, easy easy s rank pretty much anything because all you need to do is stagger them to follow up with the pile bunker hit which could be any other melee weapon for that matter too and also in the right hand any quick staggering weapon will do the grenade cannon and Songbird, you unlock them for your shoulder slot super early in the game and that goes for the whole setup, you can do that super quick. Um, and that makes this a really good setup to easy mode entirely the, the entire game basically. Here we're fighting the Honest Brute and we're utilizing the Assault Armor to make an easy stun and follow up with a free 8520 damage hit after. So you see this guy takes a lot less damage than the Sea Spider because he obviously has more resistances against this type of damage but he still gets killed in a few seconds and it's super easy and you could otherwise spend a long time fighting this guy especially in the actual mission where he uses repair kits it's crazy here we're having v4 rusty uh, also a, a, an enemy that's very quick but the double songbird stagger him pretty much instantly and then one hit with the um, pile bunker pretty much ends the whole battle immediately setting up one quick speed kill record after another here I'm saying records because I didn't find any videos online doing things faster and honestly I don't think they could be done much faster at this point but tell me if you uh, if you found something that is more interesting more fast I'll try it <laughs> uh, so you see here we're fighting cold uh, cold call I think yeah uh, and we're giving him a juicy nice 7768 damage hit followed up by a quick shotgun to kill him now about this setup like I said uh, pile bunk or melee weapon left hand right hand will have a quick shotgun uh, or something that staggers quickly you see the share code also now aside from the obvious weapons there's a melee specialization on the arm slots that you can equip to your AC uh, and I found that the basho arms are quite bashy and do one of the highest melee specializations. I haven't unlocked everything and there might be better items coming later down the line. Also important are boosters with their melee attack thrust attribute that defines how much forward movement you do when doing a melee attack. So it defines how useful or usable your melee attack is in general, even when the enemy isn't stationary and staggered, for example. Now, by far the highest amount of damage boost comes from the operating system tune-ups using OST chips from certain arena battles and encounters in-game. I would advise you get the boost kick because it's a very helpful tool in many situations. And then assault armor at least one point in that because that thing is so surprising and opens up many opportunities for a melee attack. I put two points in here. The next thing to go for would be the melee weapons drive control tuning, giving you 15% more melee weapon damage. And then 
next would be the direct hit modifier. I would advise to put two points in here, then two points in here, and then fill up the remaining three points on melee and direct hit. Because direct hit modifier gives you another 15% damage boost against staggered opponents. And that is what you're going to do a lot with these melee weapons. And that together is 30% more damage here. And if you have then leftover points, put them in the ACS dynamic deflect deflection control tuning for damage mitigation against yourself. So you're also reducing the damage coming into your bot. I'm also experimenting with different legs as you can see right here in battle because there's a jump distance stat to them allowing you to cross distance very quickly to bring him a quick melee attack and get back out of trouble again. The lower load capacity of the reverse joint legs however forced me to go with a smaller and less effective shotgun than the Zimmerman shotgun before but it is worth experimenting with that. Let's have a look at this for example. You see every time we're dashing we use up quite a lot of our energy but we're also making a distance of around 100 meters every time. So somebody trying to escape from you is almost impossible when you dash after him and you can very often connect with very quick and surprising melee attacks even when the enemy isn't staggered or expecting to get hit by something like this. Uh, and the melee attack is in no ways weaker than what we had before so it's really really insane. And to test this effective jump distance in melee use, I was trying to end him with a melee attack without having him staggered first. And that actually went really well. Now, I know YouTube pretty well, and I know that many of you are already beginning to drop out. So let me just tell you, this right here is the first ever made mod for Armored Core 6 with a completely different chassis with the Thomas the Tank engine. Then check it out, and if you want to see how much damage we do in melee without any of the specializations, without the melee specialization operating tunings, uh, without using the right arms and any of that just using the pile bunker with the shotgun in the hand and just going for it then stay tuned because that's what we're gonna do right here i was playing the mission by the way for the first time i thought it's a good challenge to use this setup that's so easy and powerful against a stage i've never seen before so while i played this that was a completely new thing for me and you see we're already doing less damage with the pile bunker enemies aren't even destroyed after using it once although it wasn't a charged attack either here this was by the way funny they said don't cross the right lines uh, or lasers because it will activate the defense robots and I was like hmm, okay I'm not gonna cross the red lasers but I will destroy one of them casting the lasers and I did that here with a melee attack and guess what it has the same result as crossing the lasers it will spawn enemies so anyways uh, here's a big cannon we need to, we need this evidently to fight the big snow worm and deactivate its support, uh, defense shield or something and as I get up there I'm getting attacked by um, yeah the honest brute with his flamethrowers so now we're gonna do what we just did against him, but this time without any of the melee damage boosts and specializations, not the right hand arms, nothing. And you see we're doing, after getting him staggered with a fully charged hit, only 3,400 something damage. Before, um, I, I think it was about like 8,000 or 9,000 damage. So you see the damage difference is insane. Um, and maybe maybe he is a little bit more resistant here in the mission, I can't say exactly, but uh, it seems like there's a ridiculous difference in terms of effectiveness of our melee weapons when you have the 30% plus 30% from the, you know, from the operating system tunes plus having the right arms equipped. Um, so doing a one hit kill here again towards the end, the fight still was really easy even without any of those um, bo boosts, but it turns out that you can probably do this twice as fast or even faster. Maybe you can even not allow him to use a single repair kit if you just do it uh, perfectly, stagger him when he has like 70% health and he doesn't use the kit yet and pop, finish him off in one hit. So yeah, one of the next uh, missions will be to kill that uh, freaking ice worm. Let's see how we'll do that uh, with this setup. For now, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. Tell me what you think. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider doing that. It would be really amazing. And I'll catch you hopefully in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.